Okay, um, this is going to be a short video of me performing a home health screening. Uh, I'm going to be using the CardioCheck uh, cholesterol meter and the True2Go um, blood glucose meter. Now, I do not have um, high cholesterol. Well, every once in a while, my cholesterol will go up. Uh, usually that's related to my um, eating habits at any particular point in time and uh, I do not have um, um, diabetes or anything like that but there is some incidence of it in my family uh, aunts and such and so I decided to try to get a um, head start on um, making sure that I don't uh, acquire that um, I try to control my eating habits and um, you know just do the things that you're supposed to do. I get a pretty good bit of exercise and um, you know everything that's supposed to uh, keep things under control. Of course there's always the genetic component which we do not have uh, any control over so we just have to make the best of what we have. Okay this is the uh, the cholesterol strips and this is the um, the meter for the blood glucose. All right, I'm going to draw a sample of blood. So you blood lovers may actually like this video. Ah, there you go. And here is a small capillary that you use to. Oh, look at that stuff flow. Here you go. Pop this sucker open. All right. Insert this slide. Okay. Now you just use this to pick up a sample of blood. Yeah, look at that stuff float, baby. All right. And then you, there's a small hole here, and you squeeze the bulb until all the contents are down in that little well and it starts to read and for the true test meter pop that down you simply insert the slide here and you dab here to get a blood sample and it starts reading Okay, so for today, my blood glucose level is 84, which is pretty good. And this is all real time, so this will give you an idea of how long it takes. Um, the cardio test, you used to be able to get it at CVS and Rite Aid and Necker Drugs and some of the um, neighborhood drug stores, um, but as far as I know, you can no longer buy them, or at least in my area. I have not seen one in the store in ages, neither the slides nor the uh, actual machine itself, uh, but you can order them online. Uh, my understanding is that there is a new unit. Um, it's probably a little better now because I've had this for about mm, four or five years. And um, you know, it's worked out well. I haven't had any problems. Okay, 222, that's a little high. It should be under 200. Um, I hate to make excuses, but it is the Christmas season. I have been drinking a lot of eggnog without alcohol. And, um, you know, the fat and, of course, those, um, what do they call it, those cella cherries, those chocolate-covered cherries with the uh, clear liquid in there. I love those in chocolate and eggnog and dairy products, which eggnog is, will drive your cholesterol through the roof. And over the next couple of days, as I scale back on this, um, it, it, it should drop. Okay, let's just go back and see if we can check out some of my other readings here. Run test. Okay, run test. Memory. Chem. Cholesterol. HDL cholesterol and triglycerides, you can also check those. Let's exit, let's go back to cholesterol. This is today, December 26th. Uh, this was yesterday, or uh, two days ago, 234. Once again, the eggnog binge. And December 17, 
197. Uh, December 11, 2000, uh, 204. November 26, right around Thanksgiving, 206. And you get back into the normal periods where I'm not eating like a glutton. And you have uh, October 23rd. And I usually check mine about uh, once a week or once every two weeks just to stay on top of it. And as you can see, um, as we go back in time, October the 2nd, uh, September the 25th. Uh, September the 18th, September the 11th, okay, September 5th, that's uh, right around, um, what's the name of that holiday there? Oh, yeah, um, what is that? Labor Day. <laughs> uh, there you go. You know, you got Labor Day, you have all those um, barbecues and stuff that you go to. But, you know, overall, I try to maintain it uh, under 200, which is um, uh, pretty good. So, yeah, this, you know, just shows you over the last couple of years. Just to let you know that I do, you know, 17th, that's probably around July 4th. It's before, okay, July 3rd is 172. So, um, my cholesterol is pretty much under control for the most part. It's just a matter of me um, maintaining a healthy uh, diet, continuing my exercise, and just tracking it, just to make sure that it doesn't get out of control. Um, I do have um, hypertension and I do take uh, do take medication for that and that was mainly because uh, years ago I just stopped tracking it. Historically I had had uh, low blood pressure, um, not really low but just you know low, good low and um, just went on a salt binge I guess you know started eating a lot of salty foods and over a period of time uh, by not monitoring it and not keeping on top of my uh, blood pressure and not uh, taking care of my diet properly um, I'm now saddled with taking medication so um, always check your uh, definitely go to the doctor make that routine fit it into your schedule somehow and you may actually want to buy one of these machines um, if not just the cholesterol one and the blood glucose because um, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Okay, thanks for watching and I hope this was helpful and um, take care. Bye-bye.